Welcome everyone, my name is Batin Abbasi. I'm here to help you understand what static electricity is and how helpful it is to our lives. Let's start off by understanding what static electricity is in the first place. Static electricity is the increase of uh, electric charge on the surface of objects. The electric charge remains on the an object remains on an object until it either flows into the ground or loses loses its charge quickly by discharge. Charge exchange can happen in conditions like um, in conditions in conditions like when different objects are rupted and separated. Some real-world application of static electricity are photocopiers, inkjet printers, electrostatic air filters, electrostatic painting of car parts, anti-static dry sheets, and static uh, and static dis uh, discharge wicks on aircraft. Let's focus. Uh, let's focus on one of the on one of the real uh, real world application I just listed. A photocopier. A photocopier is exactly what it sounds like. It is a machine that makes copies of particular photos that you desire. The creation of a photocopier has done human species many goods. But there are many cons of the creation as there are pros. Some cons of the photocopier are that the size, the noise, the expensiveness, they are too less beneficial to people that, uh, and that they cost a lot to maintain. On the other hand, the pros of a photocopier are the, photocopier are the convenience, improved functionality, both side print, both side printing and digital printing and impact and it impacts our lives very positively. The discovery of photocopy has done uh, the, the has many positive impacts. We get our copies done fast a lot faster. For example, if a teacher has thirty students in her class, she can't waste two hours to print out thirty copies. Instead she can just print out one uh, paper and use a photocopier to make thirty copies. Moving on, there are five stages on how a photocopier works. Charge, expose, develop, transfer, fuse, clean, and, and clean. Inside of, a, inside of every photocopier, there is a light sensitive top called a photoreceptor one. It is chiefly, it is a very thin level of photoconductive material that is made to request a readily bent band or say over and over. The photoreceptor one is made separate in the dark but uh, becomes conducting when it is when it is made open to light it is charged in the dark by making a high dc electric sound uh, electric force to the nearest wires which produces a very strong electric electric field near the wires that causes the air molecules to ionize and so the same uh, the same uh, having electric property as the electric force on the top wire money put in the bank on the photoreceptors top making come into existence an electric field across it and in a by numbers electronic copy the image is made open to an photoreceptor one with the scanning uh, modulated laser or a light emitting diode image bar an older analog copy is given signs of light from from a put light onto an uh, image is on is onto a photoreceptor one in either case the areas of the photoreceptor one made open to light are through selection fired selection fired let off causing uh being made less electric field the darker the darker areas uh keep their put payment through colored powder used to undergo growth is named toner toner particles are made of colorant and sort of man-made material have through details controlled elect, uh, electrostatic properties and range from above 5 to 10 meters um, uh, micrometers in distance across the circle they are mixed with the they are mixed with the charged by they are they are Mixed with the charge, they are mixed with the charge by giving magnetic property structure for boxes, threaded balls, and transport them onto the development band part. Tiny particles are charged uh, by the surprising event of noise in the back electricity. The electric field connected with the put payment through uh, is a good example of the image on the photoreceptor one. And this makes uh, use of one's power on electrostatic force and on the charge toner, which sticks uh, which sticks on the image. A color a color document is formed by a printer with four separate units that may come into existence and undergo growth. Separate uh, plum color, yellow, and black images. The grouping of these powder images produces full color documents. The powder image is transferred from photoreceptor 1 onto the paper by coming with the paper in person in touch with the toner. And then making a request to put payment through 
with uh, having electric property opposite to that of the toner. The payment room must be strong enough to overcome the powders to the photo to photoreceptor one. Second, through details control, uh, put payment. Uh, second, uh, second through details control, put payment through freeze. Uh, let's go the paper and it let's go the paper. Now having it in the, having in it the image from the photoreceptor one in the forcefully joining, and it forcefully joins the together process. The and the toner has among its parts the image is made uh, by liquid heat and joined to the paper and it is joined to the paper this is able by by going past through the paper through uh, two of the rolls heat uh, a heated roll goes slowly away from the toner which is forcefully joined together to, uh, to the paper with help of force over a given square unit from the second roll toner giving in law from the photoreceptor one at, uh, to the paper is not a hundred parts in a hundred good at uh, producing an effect effect of and leftover toner must be taken away from the photoreceptor before the next print uh, wheeled machine most form in high uh, rate of uh, motion copiers and motion motion copiers and printers do this with a rotating brush cleaner and that's the lesson for today i hope uh, you have learned enough about static electricity and how a photocopier uses uh, static electricity thank you